my artwork usually begins from a vision or a dream. So in a sense, it's like bringing a dream into reality. Sometimes they'll come in rapid succession. Sometimes it's quiet, and then sometimes you can't sleep all night. <laughs> Doing the sky, it sets the tone for the entire picture. So the sky is like the most important aspect of these paintings. I'm Choling Taha, I'm a native artist. I'm Cree First Nations. I was born in the bush country, just above New York. So where New York, Quebec and Ontario come together, uh, that's the area I was born in. My husband and I had lived in Washington state for about 15 years. We had the opportunity to come to Minnesota, which was a dream come true for us, and we'd talked about it for years, and uh, here we are. <laughs> and skies are really delicate. They really have really, really soft colors, even though they look vivid. And that's the one thing nice about Minnesota. It's got beautiful skies out here. I'm using native imagery to express an idea or a thought or a story. Now, some of them are actually indigenous stories and others are representing ideas through native imagery that are actually contemporary issues. This particular painting is called We Pull Together. It's based on the Northwest Coast story of the crab pot and how the crabs will all try to get out of the pot, but instead of helping each other get out, they pull each other back. It shows symbols from the Northwest Coast and the Great Lakes tribes. This is a Northwest Coast canoe, and the crabs, of course, are the, uh, Northwest Coast imagery. And the other crabs here are Ojibwe woodland style, and then, of course, the birch bark canoe, which is Ojibwe style canoe. And so the painting is talking about if we pull together as one human family, we can overcome even the crab pot metaphor. The shawl can represent many things. Uh, sometimes it's somebody's dream. Sometimes they went through an experience and they want that translated to a garment. Other people, they're being honored and they want a shawl for that. So they have lots of different ways they're being used. For shawl making, you have to begin with your concept just like a painting. The shawls start out as a drawing to uh, map out the design. And then once the drawing is uh, completed, I'll use uh, this plastic stencil material in order to do tracings, in order to cut out my pieces accurately. So this is the pattern that was used for the uh, birds here along the borders, these two border areas here. In the shawls, uh, I'm using the process of applique to create the patterns. So I'm layering uh, different fabrics of different colors on to essentially tell the story of that shawl and what it's trying to convey. I was commissioned to do a shawl over Facebook from a healer in Brazil. And her shawl was her dream, a dream of sea turtles and of the plant that she works with in the healing process. The biggest challenge with that shawl was really hoping that I was connecting to her correctly. Uh, when a person comes to you and has something that subtle and important to them, uh, you really want to make sure you're not putting your own input in it, that it's really coming across as their object. With the shawls, it's really important for it to be balanced. And I think with all the pictures, I want them to have a sense of balance. So when your person's looking at them, they can actually feel relaxed and enjoy exploring them. Mm -hmm. 
I really want people to take away a sense of mystery so that they look at their life beyond the TV, to really, really look at the trees and nature and water and sky and actually think about their own ancestors. Everyone has tribal ancestors, not just native people here in America. And we come from an incredible line of human knowledge. And I want people to be able to find that mystery in the pictures, regardless of their ethnicity.